Okay, Rocky Point, it is the end of Friday here. I'm about to hop on the social hour and I wanted to shoot a short little video um, and share a couple of thoughts that have been bubbling up in my head over the last week uh, in hopes that you will take those thoughts to heart and that they will resonate with you and that they will help you in the days and weeks ahead. Um, the first thought is around kindness and how it's probably more important now than ever to be kind not only to yourself but to others. And the second thought is around goal setting and how amazing goals are but how they fall short so many times. Getting back to kindness guys, I think uh, I mean, I know that I can say personally, um, without a doubt in my mind, this has been one of the most challenging weeks of my life. Uh, it's put me under a lot of pressure and anxiety. Um, and if it wasn't for the kindness that I have received from so many of our members, I think it would be a lot, I'd be a lot worse off. There's no doubt in my mind. I would be a lot worse off. So what I would like to task you with is being kind to yourself, finding time for self-care, and just as importantly, being kind to anyone that you encounter, whether that's virtually, like you're speaking to me now, or listening to me now, I should say, or that's out and about when you're getting essentials like going to the grocery store. Recognize that everyone is under a lot of pressure and stress and anxiety and recognize that they might be acting out of character because of that. They might be snark with you, they might be snappy, they might be grumpy, they might be mute and just not willing to talk to you, but none of it is necessarily because of something you did and I would like you to respond to any of that with a dose of kindness. Hit them with kindness yourself included. Getting into the second thought, guys. Again, it's just around goal setting and how I think habits are the vehicle of which we achieve goals. And I'm trying to give you guys um, a little bit of advice of how to manage goals, habits, and actually um, walk the path that you're setting out for yourself. So if you set a goal, it's typically an outcome, like I want to lose 20 pounds, or I want to finish this course, or I want to make more income. The first thing you want to think about is what are the daily tasks, the daily skills, the daily habits that you have to accomplish consistently to get to that outcome. And then the second thing that you want to think about is how can you give yourself freedom to not be perfect? Because we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for consistency. And when you focus on consistency, um, you'll find yourself partaking in the task or habit or skill far more often. But if you focus on perfection, your brain will typically say, well, I'm either going to do this or I'm not. And it's an all or nothing thing, and often it's nothing. So I'm gonna give you a quick example about something that I've implemented just over this short period of time in my life, um, and how I've used that thought process and given myself that freedom in my mind to be successful. I'm always tracking one habit or another in my life. Typically, I'm actually tracking four. One of the habits or one of the goals that I set for myself, the outcome goal that I set for myself when this kind of all went down and I self-quarantined a little over a week ago, was to make sure that I was keeping up with my education so, so that I had information to share with our community that they find valuable. And of course, I've been tasked with a lot of work uh, and a lot of projects and a lot of pressure to try and do things for the community right now 
that could easily excuse my time for reading. So I set out a task of just reading 20 to 30 minutes per day, every day, um, during the next month. And typically that's a fairly easy goal for me. Um, I typically read daily, um, but under the pressure that I'm under, I figured it might slip. So that's why I set that task. And what I found was the first couple of days, I was kind of forcing myself to get it in. Um, and I really didn't want to uh, actually just sit down and take time to read. I felt like I had far more pressing things to do. But then I reminded myself that if I can just read for two or three minutes, I will likely fulfill more time. And if I don't hit 20 or 30 minutes, then that's fine. At least I put the effort in to just pick up a book for two or three minutes. And with that mindset, with that freedom, it's very easy to make the right decision. It's very easy to deny doing the other thing, the pressing task or the tempting Netflix or the nap that you might wanna take, whatever it is, and choose to just do the task or skill or habit that you're trying to accomplish. So I'm happy to report I've read every day and more often than not, I've actually read for probably 45 minutes to an hour plus a day. Uh, on top of the other accomplishments that I've been working on for the community. And this can work in your life in any area, guys. Set an outcome goal. Break it down into a daily habit that you track and give yourself the freedom to not be perfect, to just do one step towards that each and every day. And you'll find yourself doing that thing, even if it's, uh, even if it's small. And when you do it, just consistently, it will spiral in, the be in a better direction and you'll do it more often for longer. I hope these two thoughts help, guys. Again, be kind to yourself and to everyone around you. Set an outcome goal and break it down into a habit that you track daily and give yourself the freedom to not be perfect.